Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. I want to um, do a few more things with the uh, AA35 Zoom uh, that works incredibly well. I'm really happy with it. I've just uh, turned it on. It's, it, it's immediately connecting itself to uh, the software. What I want to try to do is roughly measure the length of a piece, two pieces of coax. Actually, we could do three if I want. And then also look at the loss with that coax and see how that compares with the data sheets. Um, so I've got uh, LMR400 RG8X, and let's do at least two of those. And I'm going to switch over to the screen where I can bring up um, what it shows on the Rig Expert screen. So I'm going to go to that now. So right now I'm, I'm I've turned on the uh, the Rig Expert, and uh, I've got all parameters up on the screen. So let's. Um, Connect up, uh, I've got some RG8X. I think it's a little bit less than 100 feet. Okay, I've shorted the end of the coax, and let's look at the instructions for the, um, the zoom here, and I'll bring that up on the screen. Just a quick comment about the uh, instructions. They're very well written. They've got uh, headings, subheadings, capital letters where they belong. There's a couple of mistakes in English, but it is so much better than most other instructions for amateur radio equipment. And it talks about velocity factor. And uh, if we know the velocity factor, uh, we can do a quick test and come up with the length of it. So uh, what it says is um, the speed in a vacuum is 980, 983 million feet per second. All right, so if we take that number and we multiply it by the velocity factor, we get another number. And if we take that number and we divide it by the lowest frequency, we divide it by the lowest resonant frequency, and then we take that number and divide it by, or multiply by a quarter, or divide it by a quarter, however you want to figure it out. OK, so before we get too upset with that, that math, I've done some of it already. So like RG58, the velocity factor is 66 times 983 million to equals 649 million divided by. Now we got to come up with that lowest resonant frequency. So let's do RG8X. I believe the velocity factor is 78. I'm going to bring up a calculator and uh, let's see if we can make this work. So we've got um, 767 million. Now we've got to find the lowest resonant frequency. So I'm going to connect it to the Zoom, my buddy, the Zoom. And um, I'm going to change. I've got a short on one end and the other end that is flapping around. Um, put that on. All right. And then I'm going to bring up the, that screen again. All right, now I'm going to go to RX chart. And then I'm going to input a, a, a frequency. So I'm just going to go down to uh, 0, 2. So I'm going to go to 2 megahertz. And let's put, I, I'll show you that. So I've got 2 megahertz. All right, I'm pressing OK. Back to RX chart. And I'm going to tell it OK to, uh, to do it. So I'm hitting the uh, checkbox. OK, the lowest frequency. 
the lowest resonant frequency is 1.963 megahertz or 1963000. So now that we know that, let's go back to um, the formula. Okay, so that number was 1963. So we're using RG8X. So 767, 185. 384 divided by 1963 and then three more zeros. So one, nine, six, three, one, two, three equals, and we're going to take that number and divide it by four. So divide by four equals, that's the length of the coax. And I believe that to be relatively close. So it's about 98 feet. All right, now we know that. What else can we find out? All right, so I'm back on uh, all parameters. And I'm going to ask it to show me that. Oh, I've got to change the frequency. All right, I'm going to change the frequency to 30 megahertz. Say OK. 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 All right, so let's bring that up on the screen. And again, I've gone to 30 megahertz, which uh, shows up here. All right, the return loss is 3.65 dB. Now that's sending a signal out and coming back. So half of that would be about 1.8 dB. We're at about 100 feet long. Okay, there's the table, 30 megahertz, RG8X, um, 2 dB loss. I measured 1.8. It's a little bit short, but it means the coax is good. Okay, I've asked the um, AA35 to do its thing again, and let's bring that up on the screen. And now it measures 1.4, so um, it would be half that much, so 0.7. Let's go back to the table, and that shows 0.7 also. All right, so there are two more functions you can do with the uh, AA35. In some of the more expensive models, it, it doesn't automatically. Do. You just ask it to, to do it, and it has you do a couple of things, and there it is. Um, I opted for the least expensive one because it was the least expensive one. I haven't regretted it. I may have wanted one that went uh, a little bit higher in frequency, and to that end, I'm uh, borrowing an, uh, a, a faster, uh, not faster, an AA3000 that goes to 3 gigahertz. I want to play with um, a bunch of things, and we'll talk about that later. If you have any questions, or if you have another way of doing something that I did, or maybe you're not happy with the way I did it, uh, which is okay, uh, let me know. Uh, post it below. If you have not subscribed, please do that. I'm Jim, W6LG, your YouTube Elmer Thank you very much for watching 73.